What's going on guys? It's Jared here bringing you another Battlefield 4 beta gameplay. This time I'm going to do a small uh, small review on the MX4 PDW in Battlefield 4. The one that is automatically on the Engineer class. Uh, it comes automatically with a red dot sight, a laser sight, and I don't think it comes with a grip. It might come with a grip. Uh, I don't see one on there. But this weapon is a beast. And it's a beast in close range. Now, you get to medium range, you're going to have to tap fire pretty much two bursts. You're not going to really be able to uh, do four or five bursts or uh, even three bursts I found was quite hard to do. Um, as right there, you see me go full auto. I completely mag dumped on that guy. Um, and sometimes you can do that. If you're within, I'd say, about 12 meters, you could probably mag dump if you're pretty good at control and recoil. I've been playing Battlefield um, for a while, not Battlefield 4, but Battlefield in general, and I can control recoil pretty well. So if you can control recoil uh, decently, 12 meters would be the uh, draw off point to to where you you do not need to be mag dumping at all. Uh, this gun, it from close range, from probably about till about 12 meters, you know, you you can't really tell that the recoil is bad, and then you get to like, you know, 20 meters, and it's just like holy Jesus. Like that right there, I didn't, um, I didn't try to control the recoil. That was just, that was just the actual recoil, and there really wasn't that bad. But once you get further distances, it gets ridiculous, and you get destroyed by weapons like the AK-12. Um, but from close range, you you pretty much own it. Um, I don't think I've been killed from close range with very much when I'm actually playing my best. Um, normally, I don't get dropped with this weapon. Now, when I'm using like the AK-12. Or weapons like that from really close range this weapon always destroys me and it's always this weapon and I mean which we get you like right here where you see that guy's at right now if I would have shot at him I would have had to do a two burst and this right here I think I full way mag dump and then pull out the uh, PP or the P226 or whatever that's a really good pistol I like it and another good thing about this weapon is the reload time is actually not that bad it's pretty quick um, and I really enjoy it um, and plus it's for the uh, engineer kit so you can get up close and personal while still taking out your tanks and shit from longer range. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. I don't want to go into too depth about, you know, like gun stats and, you know, recoil patterns and um, how long it actually takes to reload and all that stuff. I just want to kind of give you a raw um, gun review instead of, you know, doing all this elaborate gun review and then when the game comes out giving you a different gun review. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. You will see the lag. Come and get me here in a second. And right, that right there, real quick before we go. That right there, I full way mag dumped and it showed no recoil. So, that was probably about 12 meters. So, that was pretty good. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.